Do you still remember what the coffee's like here? Of course. How could I forget? It used to be my go-to drink here. Listen, Gafur. <clears throat> I suppose I should call you Professor Gafur now. We're old acquaintances, so how about we stop beating around the bush, hmm? First you wanted to catch up, and now the coffee. If you have something to say, just say it. Oh, that's Gafur! He's the one we're searching for. But he seems to be busy talking with someone else. Maybe we should wait for them to finish. Oh, well, it's nothing really. It's just that ever since you left the Academia, our original projects and plans have lost their backbone, so to speak. Cyrus is also disappointed. He's always valued you as a proud disciple. To be honest, it's a real shame that you left the Academia, Lisa. With your wisdom and intellect, had you stayed in the Academia, you would have become a Herbot by now. Hold on! That's Lisa! The Librarian Lisa! Our Lisa! I might heard that Lisa had studied at the Academia before, but that was a long time ago! What's Lisa doing here now? If I'm reading the situation right, you're reminiscing about the past to convince me to come back, aren't you? Well, I heard that you're currently the librarian for the Knights of Favonius in Mondstadt. If you ask me, that's a tragic waste of your talents. Why waste your time and energy on something as trivial as taking care of a library? Your time is much more valuable than that. If you're willing to come back to the Academia, I have plenty of projects for you to preside over right away. The Academia needs people right now, and some of these projects are quite important. Yawn. So all this talk is to convince me to come back. I'm guessing Professor Cyrus doesn't know that you're talking to me about this. As a matter of fact, he has long wanted you to come back and work at the Academia. Is that so? You know, Professor Gafur, it isn't a good idea to lie to people. Our teacher knows exactly why I left the Academia after only two years. He would never ask me to come back. Giving up my life in Mondstadt and returning to the Academia as a Spontamod researcher. The price of seeking wisdom is no longer something I'm willing to pay. So please, don't bother trying to get me to come back. Wow! So Lisa used to be a Spontamod researcher? Paimon's never heard her mention it before. Besides, taking care of a library is important work. I've never considered it a waste of my time. Wisdom is hidden in every corner of the world. Never underestimate wisdom, no matter how small it may appear. That's what our teacher always said. A good scholar wouldn't overlook the small details, Gafur. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still not used to calling you Professor. Nevertheless, the underlying meaning of what you just said is simply wrong. And there's one other detail you probably haven't noticed. Two people have been eavesdropping on us for quite a while now. Hmm? Is there anything we can help you two with? Uh, hello, Lisa! Well, if it isn't you two... Long time no see, cutie. Paimon. Excuse me, but what business do you two have here? We're here to participate in a research project on ley lines for Spontamod. We just finished registering with Effendi. A research project on ley lines? Oh, darling. You haven't joined the Academia, have you? All right. Effendi told us a research project is looking for paid volunteers. That's what we came to see Gafur about. Paid volunteers? Gafur. Is the Academia really that understaffed? Or are there projects that insist on the use of outsiders? No, no. The paid volunteers are for a conventional project to monitor the ley lines. All operations follow the prescribed safety protocols. We rely on a lot of manpower to collect the data. There's no way around it now. But if only you would agree to come back and preside over some matters, we wouldn't have to go through all this nonsense. Hmm. If memory serves me right, collecting ley lines data requires investigators to go deep into domains, which can be dangerous. We've seen our fair share of combat since leaving Mondstadt. Exploring a domain is like a walk in the park to us. It's been so long now. 
I can only imagine what wonderful stories you have to share. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing to worry about. Since you two are here to apply for the project, then please wait a moment while I talk to Lisa. I'm sorry, Gafur. My answer is still no. Aren't you even a little bit interested? I have never regretted my decision to leave the Academia. <laughs> I don't think that will change in the future. I thought after all this time you would have a different answer. But you're still as obstinate as ever, Lisa. You've made yourself clear. I'll only make a fool of myself if I keep insisting. In that case, I still have unfinished business to take care of, so I'll take my leave. See you at the Darshan reunion in a few days. Yes. Don't worry. I'll be there on time. As for you two, please come see me later in the Mautiyama Forest when you're free. We'll need your help with the volunteer work. Oh, and one last thing, Lisa. Yes? I wish you the best of luck in Mondstadt. <sighs> Thank you. Well then, cuties, now that the recruiter is gone, we can sit down and have a good chat. <laughs> Much has been happening within the Academia, and Gafur is paving the way for his future. By the way, Lisa, what brought you to Sumeru? Are the knights okay with you being gone? Of course. Jean gave me an extended paid vacation. It's rare that I get any time off, so I thought to myself, why not go on a trip and relax a little? I don't know how much of our conversation you heard, but I studied in the Spontama Darshan at the Academia for two years. But instead of staying at the Academia after graduation, I went back to Mondstadt to become the librarian for the Knights of Favonius. So that's why you came to Sumeru, right? To walk around and meet with your old friends and teachers. You'd like to know, wouldn't you? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. After all, it was ages ago. If anything, it all boils down to a difference in philosophy. When I first came to the Academia, Professor Cyrus really appreciated my work and invited me to participate in several major projects. But most of those projects ended in failure. To be honest, they went too far trying to achieve wisdom beyond mortal understanding, so failure was only to be expected. I didn't want any part of that lunacy, so I left. Anyway, now that I told you, make sure you keep it between us. Hmm. Sounds like you've experienced a lot. I don't wish to return to the Academia, even if Professor Cyrus came to ask me personally. Rather than conducting experiments day and night, I'm much more suited for working hours that start after 10 a.m. with regular afternoon tea every day. Oh, Lisa chose to be a librarian because she doesn't want to deal with hassles all the time. I prefer to take things at my own pace when it comes to tiring tasks like a job. And besides, being able to take regular vacations is also really important. It's a pity I didn't even have time to visit that child in Gandharvaville yet. Gafur found me just after I arrived in Sumeru. Speaking of which, what about you two? What brings my favorite cuties to Sumeru? I see. So you came to Sumeru in search of information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, the God of Wisdom. The two of you have more pressing issues than entertaining a tourist like me. I wanted to walk around Sumeru with you, but now doesn't seem like the right time. <sighs> what a pity. It's very rare for us to meet like this. Oh, then would you like to spend some time with me, darling? That would be wonderful. I plan to spend the next few days visiting around Sumeru City. At the end of my stay, I'll leave from Gandharvaville and return to Mondstadt via Liyue. Who knows? Perhaps we'll bump into each other again in Sumeru City or Gandharvaville. Hmm, come to think of it, there's something romantic about such a chance encounter like this. It's like icing on the cake for this little vacation of mine. If you see me around, be sure to come and say hello. Otherwise, I might start feeling lonely. <laughs>